is the best custom ROM for Redmi Note 3? Which custom ROM gives best battery backup? Which custom ROM has best camera performance? These are the questions I get every day. So let's talk about it today. Hey what's happening guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the best custom ROMs on Redmi Note 3 and which are the best in which aspect. So I'm gonna split them between five different categories. So number one, the best stable ROM, like where you get all the things stable enough to use as your daily driver, you get best camera performance, best battery life and all other things. Well, in my opinion, as of now, if you want the best stable experience and you don't wanna face any force closes, any bugs or stuff, then you should flash the MIUI Global Beta ROM. I'm pretty sure there are no custom ROMs out there that won't give you like even one force close at all. So all the custom ROMs has bugs and even MIUI has bugs. There is no ROM that doesn't have bugs. So there is no one best custom ROM. It's just what you like and it's just what are the things that you need to use at your daily driving. So if you want the best stable ROM, well, please use MIUI Global Beta ROM. And we have MIUI 10 as of now as Global Beta for the Redmi Note 3. So use that. I hope it helped. And let's talk about number two, Nougat based stable ROMs. Well, in my opinion, I just did a video on the Lineage OS 14.1 and it's pretty stable. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super fine. You can use GC Mod 5, you can use Portrait Mode and stuff. Like you can click pictures with Portrait Mode with GC Mod 5 on 7.1.2 Nougat 2. And you can use Lineage OS 14.1 without any doubt. If you want less customizations and super stability, yeah, it's a great ROM. And if you want like super customizable Android Nougat based ROM, you can go with AOSP Extended, which is the AEX ROM. I think it's pretty stable as of now, but it might be a, a little bit less stable than Lineage OS. But yeah, you can flash it if you want to. The AEX 7.1.2 based ROM is pretty good. So now let's talk about number three. So at number three, we have Pixel Experience which is a pretty good stable ROM based on Android Oreo and all the ROM reviews I did on these like these ROMs I'm saying in this video will be listed in the description box below so don't worry check it out from the description so what I was talking about well pixel experience and pixel experience is a great ROM if you love stock Android you're gonna love it it's definitely gonna get to you like a Google Pixel device like experience because everything is like stock Android, animations are super smooth, the RAM management is super cool and the battery life is okay, she will get like four and a half or even five hours of screen on time maybe if you push it harder and use battery savers and stuff and yeah you can use GC Mod 5 too out there. So yeah you can definitely try Pixel Experience ROM for Redmi Note 3 which is a great ROM. So let's talk about number 4 now. Well if you want to try the bleeding edge of Android custom ROMs, you can definitely try the Pixel Experience ROM which is based on Android Pie for Redmi Note 3. Yes it's unofficial, yes it does have bugs, the camera doesn't work and there are multiple bugs like Bluetooth doesn't work, I don't remember the other one. So yeah there are bugs, that's why it's a bleeding edge of custom ROMs. So yeah, you can try that or you can try the Nitrogen OS ROM which is based on Android Pie. It's still unofficial, I didn't do a video on that but when I will do it, I'll link it in the description box below. So don't worry and you can flash that ROM and for Android Pie based ROMs, you just have to flash that ROM. Then you have to reboot to system, then you can just go back to TWRP recovery and then flash the G apps and then reboot. Otherwise you may face some force closes in the setup wizard. So yeah. Pixel Experience doesn't need any kind of G apps, you just flash it and reboot it, so that's great. It's a great ROM as of now, we have Android Pie running on the Redmi Note 3 at least, that's a great thing in my opinion. So let's talk about the last one, category number 5. Now let's talk about which is the best and which is like you should go with for your daily driving. Well if you wanna flash a ROM which is like literally you will get updates every week and you like MIUI, then again. I'll recommend you flashing the MIUI 10 global beta build for Redmi Note 3. And on that one you will get the best amount of battery life in my opinion. But if you love stock Android and if you love customizations over stock Android, so you can flash ROMs like Resurrection Remix, Havoc OS and other ROMs like Liquid Remix and stuff. Those are 
one of the great ROMs. I can't recommend you Nitrogen OS as of now. I mean Nitrogen OS 8.1 as of now. I'm just talking about 8.1 ROMs over here. So I can't recommend you that because as of now Nitrogen OS does not have as much features as Resurrection Remix or even have a OS. So yeah, in my opinion, you can flash Resurrection Remix and stuff. On those ROMs, battery lives are pretty similar. You will get like four or four and a half hours of screen on time. Yeah, those are pretty stable. So, and uh, one more thing, I am literally using the latest build of Resurrection Remix as of now. And let me check the build date. And yeah, it's 19th August 2018 build I am using right now. And this ROM is pretty great. I didn't find any bugs and stuff. The screen on time I got over here is 3 hours and 54 minutes, which is around 4 hours of screen on time. And I have still 25% battery left. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me just decrease the brightness. Uh, as you can see, we still have 25% juice left. So yeah, it's a pretty great ROM, gives around 4 hours of screen on time. And the performance and RAM management is good enough. So yeah, those were the best ROMs for Redmi Note 3 as of today, in my opinion at least. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below and let me talk about some miscellaneous things that I get questions like that, that I get asked almost every day. So yeah, let's talk about it. And what are those? I keep forgetting stuff. So if you're facing boot loop while flashing every other custom ROM like most of the custom ROMs which are based on Android 8.1 or 7.1, you my friend might be having an unofficially unlocked bootloader. So what you need to do now, you need to like use the Mi Flash tool with your PC and flash talk Mi Y with the Mi Flash tool of course and then select clean on and lock while flashing. Then you can unlock the bootloader officially. I'm pretty sure this problem only occurs with the bootloaders which are unofficially unlocked. So this is the only way to do it. You have to relock the bootloader and unlock it again with official method. Then you can install TWRP, I mean official TWRP, then you can do all the things. If you have ZCX TWRP and stuff, if you flash a ROM, don't complain. And misc number two. Well, if your camera doesn't work, if your fingerprint scanner doesn't work, or if your vault doesn't work, I'm pretty sure your firmware is messed up because you, my friend, have flashed MIUI Pro or Epic ROM or any other MIUI ported ROMs for that matter. And those ROMs does break stuff. Even I have faced that myself. I flashed ported MIUI ROMs in the past and I have had pretty bad experience. That's why I didn't flash the Masik ROM, which is available for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So yeah, I'll never flash any kind of ported ROMs. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna flash any kind of ported MIUI ROMs. This is the reason why, because it breaks stuff. Let's assume you are on a custom ROM like Resurrection Remix or something, your camera is not working. Yes, Resurrection Remix has some problems previously, like some previous builds, but right now it's working super fine. I don't have any issues. Even GC Mod 5 is working super fine. Well, what I was talking about, get back to the point. If your camera doesn't work with the custom ROMs, like with any other custom ROMs, what you have to do is download the latest MIUI Global Beta firmware and how to like flash it, you will get a card right here on the screen. So download that firmware and flash it over that ROM or you can just clean flash it, just flash the firmware file first, then flash the recovery file and your G apps. And even then afterwards, if your camera doesn't work, you my friend need to do the ultimate thing again. You have to clean flash, I mean you have to clean fast boot flash your stock ROM on your device again with Mi Flash tool with a PC. So once you fast boot flash your stock ROM, I mean stock Mi Y with Mi Flash tool with a PC, then you can install TWRP again, then you can clean flash any custom ROM so that your camera and vault D and stuff will be fixed, I'm pretty sure about it. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys. And this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today. And I'll catch you guys later.